He was a leader. He was revolutionary. Truly remarkable. Every time he had this, this new idea, it was like he instantly got everyone else on board with it. And they were stupid ideas, all of them, very stupid. So stupid that they worked. Now that he's gone, there's a hole in our hearts. How do I describe Charles Parkerson? Loving, obnoxious, hilarious, insane, genius, joyful, crusty, rusty. Charles Parkerson was so unpredictable that. <laughs> When we started, we were just a couple of teenage kids with an iPhone and a mediocre script. But now, thanks to his innovation and leadership, we're a couple of teenage kids with an iPhone and a really, really bad script. He had this extraordinary skill um, with organizing a team. He was stubborn. He yelled all the time. He thought he was smarter than everyone else he worked with. Not something that you would do! Do something I would do! Do something funny! And he produced great quality videos. How often do you find, in one man, so many different talents and passions fused into one? Charles was an actor. He was a comedian. He was a computer programmer. He was an artist. And most of all, he was a musician. He wrote all the music for our videos, original soundtracks, except for This Town, Dartboard, Super Sick Fight, Guardians of the Galaxy, Despacito Part Deux, The Blanket Trilogy, Moist Couch Cushions. Every time I use White Rain Moisturizing Conditioner, which is every day, get it at your local dollar store. It just you can't stop thinking about Charles. <laughs> I miss him so Sometimes, you may ask yourself, am I in love with Charles Parkinson? <laughs>